Hello everybody, welcome to another one of my coffee vlogs. This time I've got uh, whatever I have, you'll see once I unbox it. So hang in there. All right, so this little box contains one of the coffees that I found on Amazon and uh, I wanted to give it a try because uh, uh, they were in the market as well, trying to compete with others. So let's see if they are good enough or not. Uh, so I'm going to do an unboxing of this. Here it goes. So the inside already reveals the name of it. It is called Daily Grind. Nice little packaging there. So I'm gonna do a review of Daily Grind, the original kick. That's what they claim it to be. Let's see if what they claim is what they deliver. Uh, first impressions, nice little packaging there. And uh, I don't think I've ever seen a packaging like this before. Uh, it's a jar basically. You can see it's a glass. It has a very thick lid and that's what is surprising and that's what makes them a little bit different. In terms of design, that's the first impression of course. I can already see a big granular freeze-dried coffee elements here. It looks so far intriguing. Let's see. They claim it to be it's a 100% Arabica, so that's good and promising. Strong and bold. It has the right aroma and taste, that's what they claim it to be. In the ingredient section, they say that it's just coffee beans, which is a big thumbs up from me. No added sugar or additives, and uh, they suggest you to always use a dry spoon to get this out, where we are going to make use of this jar to get some out, that's totally fine. It's just 50 grams, uh, but I think that's enough. Uh, that's how much you want to experiment so that it does not get spoiled in the long term. Uh, that's what uh, happened with me with uh, Nescafe Black Coast. Uh, so it got a little bit of moisture and it, uh, the color changed. So if you want to avoid taking a lot of coffee in one go and just maybe aim for little chunks of them. Uh, this one is just 50 grams, so I think I can finish it probably within one week or two weeks, I guess. Uh, this is manufactured in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, so let's see how it turns out to be. Let's go ahead with this. Opening this now, so it, the lid opens something like this, right? The lid itself looks like a cup. Gonna open this. Nice smell of coffee hits you. I'm taking this mug and I'm just transferring some into it. I think this much is enough. I've added this much. Looks exactly what it is. They are freeze dried, so this is how it looks. All you gotta do is add some water into this. It smells nice and uh, rich. Just adding a teensy amount of water and I'm going to take a spoon, uh, mix it. So, the reason we mix it in the beginning is just we want to make sure everything just dissolves completely you just need to add a little bit of water and that water does not need to be hot so that you don't end up getting some burnt taste we want to go the cappuccino way so we'll do that that's why we are using a spoon and uh, just whisking it looks good now i think we should proceed with our uh, milk so far looking good we have milk with us which is basically warm uh, we are going to use frother. I've got a really good frother. I wanted to talk about this. Agaro's frother, which is basically a very promising frother because it has got three speeds. Exactly how I wanted my frother to be. So I would recommend everybody to give this a shot with three settings and you can charge it with USB. So I've used it a lot uh, in the past month and uh, so far I have not uh, charged this. I think it's uh, doing a pretty good job. Give it a try. Moving on, uh, we're going to use a frother to steam this milk. First speed. Oh, good look of how this looks like when I'm frothing it. So look, just look at the speed, and this is just uh, speed one. That's how fast this is. So I recommend everybody to give it a shot. It basically does the job. So all you want to do is froth this. Topping this is pretty easy. You just have to press keep pressing the button. That's it. All right, I've got my froth milk. The milk has been frothed properly. Start pouring it. This frothed milk that basically does all that design that you see in uh, in cafes, right? So it's the froth that that shows up at the top. I'm not an expert at. This. You can simply do a normal whisk with your spoon to mix it all up. So I made it 
uh, in the traditional cappuccino way where you add some espresso flour and then you add froth or steamed milk to it. Color is uh, on the darker brown side as you can see. All right, tasting time. Cheers. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually good. Solid. I mean, they did a good job at this. It was hundred percent arabica, not hitting you at all at, at the neck. Very smooth, strong as well. Strong depends on how much uh, milk you add, and uh, kept it a little bit on the stronger side only. Yes, this is very flavorful. Quite surprised as how much good this turned out to be. The MRP on this is three forty eight bucks, but I got a good deal on this. Yeah, this was a freshly made batch manufactured in May. It's just two months. It has been sitting there. They say that you have to use it till uh, 2026, so it only gets spoiled after two years. They did a pretty good job there. Yes, this is actually good. Quite surprised by their craftsmanship. No additives or anything. Here, piece of coffee is hitting me right now. I can have lots of glasses of this. I'm happy with this purchase. Definitely going to give. There are other flavors to try. I think there. This one is a classic coffee one. I, I like my coffee in that way, like the originality of it. Don't want to go for any flavors or anything. This is exactly what they are selling. Strong and bold, that's all it is. And I really like this. I can see myself having this every day. I hope to finish this by a week or two, I guess. Somewhere I feel there is a little bit of weird bitterness to it. Uh, I don't know where it is coming from, but it has slightly you know off putting i think this is good do give this a try and let me know how you found it to be i found it to be authentic and uh, exactly what they claim it to be yeah this is just a 50 gram very different unique style bottle uh, it has everything to say in the market they have some originality to their taste and uh, i think they can they're going to stick around uh, they did just fine i hope you enjoyed this review let me know in this comment section if you are going to be trying this soon or not and uh, see you in the next one